Hey everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm JP and you're watching The Buzz. And today I have some great information for you. I've scoured the internet and finally found all of the exterior and interior dimensions, plus more on the Model Y. Let's dig in right now. So as the highly anticipated Model Y inches closer to delivery, there are many of us still wondering about the overall dimensions of the vehicle itself. Tesla, as usual, does a really bad job sharing any information on its vehicles prior to deliveries. I can't tell you why that is, I just know that's how they do it. Even with the Model 3, it was the same way. So as I mentioned, I have been searching and sifting through all of the clues in videos, posts, and blogs, just trying to piece all this together. Then I came across this awesome article shared by George Zetto from Tasmanian, who received what appears to be some confidential information from one of their anonymous readers, who provided some very awesome details of the overall dimensions of the exterior and interior of the Model Y. So let's dive in and take a look at what the Model Y's overall dimensions are so you can all rest peacefully tonight. Let's dig in. Okay, so let's dive directly into the exterior, which I believe is more of the unknown at this point in time. Okay, dimension A. The Model Y will have an overall length of 187 inches or 4,750 millimeters. Dimension B, the overall width, including the mirrors, will be 83.8 inches or 2,129 millimeters. Staying with dimension B, the overall width, including the folding mirrors, will be 77.9 inches or 1,978 millimeters. The overall width, excluding the mirrors, will be 75.6 inches or 1,921 millimeters. Moving on to dimension C, the Model Y's overall height will be 64 inches or 1,624 millimeters. Dimension D, the Model Y's wheelbase will sit at 113.8 inches or 2,890 millimeters. Moving on to dimension E, which is the front overhang, will be 34.4 inches or 847 millimeters. Dimension F, the rear overhang, will be 38.8 inches or 986 millimeters. Of course, the ground clearance, which everybody has been speculating, will sit at 6.6 .6 inches or 168 millimeters. So moving on to dimension H, the track for both front and rear is 64.4 inches or 1,636 millimeters. So there you are. That is the overall exterior dimensions that we have all been waiting for Tesla to release. I hope these dimensions are appealing to you and that you are now feeling better about the Model Y. Now, I will also say the Model Y's exterior is among the top in almost every category compared to other compact SUVs in its class. So some really, really good news and some really solid specs. All right, so let's continue on and dive right into some additional information of the interior specs of the Model Y. The Model Y will have a front headroom of 41 inches or 1,041 millimeters. The rear headroom will sit at 39.4 inches, a little bit less, or 1,001 millimeters. Still, I think, plenty of room. The leg room, the comfy leg room in the front of the Model Y will be at 41.8 inches, or 1,063 millimeters. Now, the leg room in the rear is going to be slightly different at 40.5 inches, or 1,029 millimeters. Offering some very comfortable shoulder room for the front passengers will be at 56.4 inches or 1,432 millimeters. The shoulder room in the rear gets a little bit tighter, 54 inches or 1,373 millimeters. Still very, very comfortable. So of course we all know that the Model Y has 66 cubic feet of available storage, which is really awesome. So that rounds up the interior space of the Model Y. So comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are on the interior specs of the Model Y. Is it everything that you thought it was going to be or is it a little bit short? And I'll just say again here that these dimensions are in the top 
top tier of all compact SUVs. So I think you're really gonna find the interior very, very comfortable. All right, so let's continue on. All right, so up next we have the weight of the Model Y, which again is something that we did not have information on, and George did a great job listing all this information. So the curb weight of the long range battery dual motor is gonna sit at 4,460 pounds or 2,003 kilograms. And according to the post, the curb weight is the vehicle in a normal state with no passengers. So this is the fluid and all the things that the car needs to operate with no passengers. So continuing on, the gross vehicle weight rating for the long range battery dual motor will sit at 5,302 pounds or 2,405 kilograms. The gross vehicle weight distribution for the dual motor will be the front at 46% and the rear at 54%. So for the front gross axle weight rating with 20 inch wheels will be 3,005 pounds or 1,363 kilograms. The rear gross axle weight rating with 20 inch wheels will be 3,307 pounds or 1,500 kilograms. Now, this is important for those of you who want to be able to tow with the Model Y. So I think it's gonna do fantastic. So again, just for clarification, the curb weight equals the weight of the vehicle with the correct fluid levels with no occupants and no cargo. So man, that is a heavy SUV compared to some of the others in its class. So it should be nice and stable, hugging the ground and the corners with all that weight from the battery. I think everybody will be really, really happy with the way that this thing drives. All right, so do you remember when Elon said that you can go off-roading with the Model Y? And I think everybody was sort of scratching their head. Well, he wasn't kidding because the Model Y will come equipped with an off-road assistant feature that adjusts the traction control to optimize performance. Now, it didn't technically say off-roading, so I think you all get the point. I don't think any of you are gonna take your Model Y off-roading in rugged terrain. Nevertheless, when active, the automatic emergency braking and lane departure avoidance systems will not be available. I mean, that makes total sense, right? You're not gonna to wanna to go off-roading and have those safety mechanisms in place. So this feature will also maximize range by extending regenerative braking to lower speeds and automatically blend in brakes to hold the vehicle at a stop. So some very, very cool features that will come equipped in a Model Y right when you pick it up at delivery. All right, and the final confirmation on the Model Y is that it will have, yes, it will have a power lift gate, which I think we all assumed anyway. So some pretty cool information that I think we have all been waiting for for some time now. So comment down below all of you soon to be Model Y owners. Do these specs solidify the vehicle for you? Are you happy with the overall dimensions? Is there something you wish was different or that you can change? Are you gonna order another one now that you've seen the specs? Comment down below and let me know your thoughts. Thanks for tuning in, folks. I truly appreciate it. We'll catch you on the next one.